AVV saw a lot of potential in Vietnam for technology entrepreneurship, a fast-growing and dynamic economy with many young people who are digitally savvy, well prepared to build technology solutions for the problems that they see around them and for opportunities that they see in the world beyond. I think at the same time, many challenges remain in the gap of women in leadership and ownership role. Women as well are quite underrepresented um, in the Vietnamese context. So I guess where there's challenge, there's also opportunity. Closing the gender cap in Vietnam alone can actually add $40 billion to the GDP by 2025. That's a tremendous opportunity right there waiting to be captured. Ascend Vietnam Venture is an early stage technology venture capital firm on a mission to back Vietnam's great tech entrepreneurs to transform the lives of people everywhere. This particular program, Shine, was focused on supporting early stage women entrepreneurs at the very beginning of their journey and needed guidance to get to the next step. At EasyGolf, we provide cash pay later or buy now pay later for emerging middle class in Vietnam. Hadama Capital is uh, one of the leading impact investing platforms in Southeast Asia, and the Beacon Fund is our flagship gender lens investing fund. My next is a technology school that provides education program for adults, for young professionals, and for markets to equip them with digital skills. I started wondering why I could have gone this far. The answer was so obvious. Education opportunities. A tech education for underserved people nearly didn't exist. So we want to change that. We want to bring more opportunities for everyone in Vietnam. We are seeing women entrepreneurs take the forefront in a variety of sectors in the technology space. There's a lot of room for improvement in many areas. And one particular I find is uh, the financial inclusion. Still, a lot of people don't get access to affordable consumer financing and customer-centric experience. Only 5 to 10% of the population get access to credit cards. So what about the others? At EasyGo, we provide cash pay later solutions for our end customers, which means that I can get fast, safe access to financing. We got referral from our previous investor to meet Beacon Fund in 2020. We share the same values and same ideas to promote gender equality in technology. We got a lot of ideas from them to improve our program for women. And Shine transformative in a way, you know, one is the content I learn from people who are VCs, the people who are startup founders like me. And second is the quality of mentorship that I receive who deeply understand fintech landscape. I would have to say that gender lens investing is still at um, a rather nascent stage, um, both in Vietnam and um, across Southeast Asia. Through the process of working with investing in women, we actually turned the spotlight onto ourselves and really tried to examine you know, how gender played a role in our whole investment process. Our gender lens investing awareness has deepened over time. There's a very clear benefit to applying a gender lens. I think it improves our decision making and improves the risk return profile of our portfolio. And I would also say that it's a lot easier to get started than you expect. Just start with the tracking, start with conversations, start with simple process adjustments. We want to find and back the most inspiring entrepreneurs in Vietnam. I believe these entrepreneurs can transform society here and in emerging markets around the world. <laughs>